Hello and welcome to the Norman Northstar Show right here on Shaw TV. I'm your host, Jared Schneider, and a tough road trip weekend here for the Norman Northstars. They were down south for three tough games, but they're going to be back on home ice this weekend. The Brown and Weekings are coming up to town for a couple of games Saturday and Sunday, so make sure to come on down and check it out. There are going to be a couple of great hockey games. Uh, today we talked to a couple of players. We've got Mikey Marcus, who had a huge weekend offensively, also big defenseman Rick Frechette, and stay tuned for my interview with head coach John McNevin. I'm with head coach John McNevin. John, you know, on the road this weekend, three tough games. Uh, you know, I hope I know we were looking for a little bit better results, obviously, than what we got. But maybe run down the weekend, uh, how things kind of went throughout the three games. Well, we got uh, we started off slow in every game. For some reason, the boys just uh, don't think about that first shift being an important shift. They try to go for the big hits. Uh, both the, the first game and the third game, we went for the hit, and in 26 seconds into the game. And they come down on a three-on-one and score because uh, we decided to go for the big hit and we miss them. They, they stepped out, so that started off the, the weekend in those two games. You know, we just didn't uh, start off correctly, and lack of that intensity right at the beginning of the game. So that that was the start of the point, and then it just went down from there for a little while until the boys got refocused. Uh, the Portage, the Central, Central Plains game, you know, we were down two nothing real quick with those uh, that goal, and then another one shortly after that. Uh, the boys didn't. Uh, didn't help too much with the, the goaltending. It was one of those games where something would go wrong. It did go wrong in the first period. After the first period, the boys didn't do too bad, but you know we can't trade six goals apiece and, and try to come up with a win. Yeah, well, it looked like it was a tough weekend all around. You know, a lot of goals against and things like that. Uh, maybe looking at, at the North Stars throughout the three games, was there any players that you say you know maybe played well? And if you had to give maybe an offensive and a defensive player of the weekend, uh, who might that be? Well, the. Mikey Marcus, Miles Bennett, and Bryce Horning line did very well in that first game. Uh, Mikey picked up four goals uh, that weekend or that game, and he picked up three assists in the uh, East Met, or the uh, sorry the Parkland game. So he had a great weekend, seven points as a rookie and an offensive player. So uh, that was that would be my offensive choice for the for the week. Defensive choice, I'd have to go with uh, unlikely person, but Evan Lutz. Uh, we actually asked him to play forward a couple of shifts because we had so many forwards out of the lineups. And so we had him play forward a couple for two games, and uh, he fit right in there. He was the energizer guy in that line. He uh, forced the play. He was wasn't out of position, uh, so he did well as a defensive player. Right? As, far, as far as I'm concerned, we asked him to play play a role as a forward, and he played very well. Yeah, you mentioned Mikey Marcus and uh, his line with with Bennett and Horning. Uh, we talked to them a little bit earlier, and we know that they were you know they they kind of liked the way that things kind of went over the weekend for them anyway. I mean, they got some points and stuff like that. Um, looking defensively throughout the weekend, you know, gave up obviously more goals for sure than what you were kind of looking for. I believe it was upwards of the the high 20s throughout the three games. But now, how do you need to correct that throughout uh, moving forward and into this weekend? Well, we got to reduce our shots. We're giving up way too many shots in a game. You know, we're averaging. Uh, Nothing lower than 35 shots a game against us. Uh, this is the first weekend we got over 30 goals our, or 30 shots ourselves. So we got to reduce the shots. Our, our, our boys don't get that. That they got to make sure they play defensively well. They get on the wrong side of the puck when we're battling, and they get caught and the odd man rushes. Uh, the other thing on the Sunday game, our strong penalty killers that we had all year, it failed us. We we didn't do a very good job. We even gave up two shorthanded goals. So it wasn't a, a great game against uh, Parkland. We give up uh, four power play goals and two penalty killing or two shorthanded goals, so that that's really hurt us there. We just weren't playing defensive hockey. And now, finally, looking at this week in practice, what are you guys kind of working on here uh, this week? We readjusted the power play a bit. The breakout of our zone, it was uh, our guys weren't uh, executing it properly. They weren't weren't coming back to support uh, the, the defense. So we've uh, added another uh, element to that attack. We're working on forechecking, winning the battles down low, and making sure we're on the right side of the puck, and also quick turnaround. When we do win a battle in our own zone, we want to make sure we come back out in the offense. We've been working on quick turnaround in our zone, get out, because we've been waiting 
too long or spending too long of time holding on to the pocket before we make a pass, having that three looks before we make a pass. So we're trying to quick, make that quick. All right, thanks, John, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. Hi, my name is Glenn Shafford. I am number 11 for your Norman North Stars. I play defense. My hometown is Thompson, Manitoba. I went to Westwood Elementary School, and my favorite player is Zach Parise. Now I'm with Rick Frechat. Rick, you're on the road this weekend, uh, you know, three games and three nights. You know, maybe take us through the weekend and how things kind of went. Uh, the first game, we kind of, the first period we were in is like, we didn't come out as, as hot as we could have. We could have came out and like uh, played a bit harder, but in the second and third period, we kind of caught up to them and put up a good fight. And now you, you know, you've played a bit more of a leadership role on, on the team this year. You know, you've been on the team for a couple of years now. How are you maybe transitioning from being, you know, a newer player the past couple of years to now being in the leadership role and having an A on your jersey this year? Uh, I don't know. I kind of just like um, am going from people I like people from the past years, kind of doing what they were doing, keeping the guys up, trying to be a good role model on the bench, and like. Yeah, so yeah, getting the guys going and things yeah. like that for sure, keeping the energy high. Yeah. You know, uh, looking back on the weekend now, how would you how would you say that you played uh, throughout the three games on the weekend? Uh, I played, I think I played pretty good. I uh, could have made a couple smarter plays, maybe did been quicker with the puck, got a few more shots off, but other than that, pretty good. And now, do you have any maybe any goals for yourself throughout, uh, maybe not only this weekend coming up, but also throughout the rest of the year? I. Uh, Hopefully to maybe put some points up, try get uh, yeah, try get some goals, maybe set up some guys for some goals too like that. Yeah. yeah, and then you know looking throughout the rest of the year, you know sitting in last place right now. What does the the team need to do maybe to get some more wins here throughout the rest of the year? Uh, we have to just play more as a team and not get as much penalties. We're getting into lots of penalty trouble, and that's what's hurting us because we can't play on. Uh, penalty kill the whole game and win because it's just can't do that <laughs> <laughs> for sure it's all right thanks hard. thanks Rick and good luck this weekend thank you now I'm with Mikey Marcus Mikey uh, you know maybe not such a good weekend as far as the team goes good weekend for yourself you know racked up a whole bunch of points so maybe how would you say the weekend went overall well we uh, battled hard the first game against Centro we just came short 10-7 I uh, had a lot of help from my line mates, Miles and Bryce. They got me a few goals, and I got Miles an assist. And I don't know, we Brandon didn't do very good. We lost nine in rip. And then Parkland, we battled hard, but still came short. And now, you know, you, you picked up a lot of points on the weekend for yourself. You know, you're a first-year guy on the team this year. Uh, how's the transition been so far, maybe from bantam hockey last year, you know, up into uh, midget AAA this year? Oh, it's been. I think it's been kind of easy for me to like adjust to the speed and stuff. That's pretty much it. All right, now I'll ask you some questions for the one minute with. Okay. So, favorite class? Um, drafting. Uh, any brothers or sisters? I have three brothers. Uh, which teammate should have a reality show? Miles Bennett. <laughs> favorite movie? Uh, Insidious. Uh, any superstitions before a game? No. Besides the North Star show, favorite show? Uh, family Guy. Uh, favorite pump up song before a game? Uh, against Me by Thrash and or Thrash and Real Against Me. Nicest road arena you've played in? Uh, probably uh, Morden's Ring. And favorite NHL player? Uh, Patrick Kane. All right, thanks, Mikey. That'll do it for this week's edition of the Norman North Star Show right here on Shaw TV. I'm your host, Jared Schneider. I would just like to thank all my guests this weekend. We had head coach John McNevin. We also had Mikey Marcus and defenseman Rick Frechette. And it's, it was a tough weekend here for the Norman North Stars this past weekend. They were on the road, didn't pick up any points, but they're back on home ice this weekend. So come on down and check it out here. They're going to be at the CA Nesbitt Arena. Saturday night's game will start at 7.30 and Sunday's game will start at 1.30. And both games are against the Brown and Weekings. Thanks for watching.